hello welcome back this is uh, bright once again we are continuing our course that we started and we we ended by saying we would dive into it okay so we we'll dive into it and that is what we're about to do okay so now we open our current draw so if you are a new person you can subscribe so that you can see the upcoming ones okay so if you are already in the channel learning let's continue so well we see this screen okay now this portion this portion as you see and here all of this area we call it drawing window okay this place also we call it drawing page or canvas something like that canvas as, a, as an artist you have your canvas and then you paint on it so you draw your things on your canvas and this is a, a page okay so drawing page as well i have taken my time and show all of the 13 main components of Cora draw and if you check my channel you can see it and then watch it okay we start from okay so we go to menu this is the menu place okay the menu bar and now as well when you right click here okay then you can see this uh we are talking about the menu bar okay so now this is the menu bar that we talk about now when we come to the menu bar this is where you will see it in fact this place we are teaching people who are new to coral draw that they don't know anything about coral draw okay so this is the menu okay the menu bar now this menu bar when you click each and every one each and everyone has its own menu sub menus in, in it and we will go through some of them we said we take the menu get the menu bar so this place is the menu bar we take the file now let's take the file okay so now when you click on the file you have new okay now this new means that you want to create a new page okay a new page or a new drawing page okay so for example you click like that and it will give you a dialog box so now create a new uh, document as previously we talked on the welcome screen so it will give you that and then you name your document when you name your document and then you do everything that we talked before then you click ok on titled one that is default so assuming that that is our title you click on the uh, okay and then it will create a new drawing page okay this is it okay and now this place when you click this small arrow here it is normal as close as when you come to this part okay so you click here and then you close it okay so this is our intro that we did before in the previous video so this is it so again we come to file new from template okay this place is the template that we talked about when you come to new uh, screen okay so let's come back here and then you click again so when you click on the new from templates as I click and you see that it open a bunch not too much though but it's a little bit so the templates you see new from templates okay so now let us zoom in we want to create something like uh, we want to take business card okay this business card and this is business uh, stationery so we take business card sorry but then when you click it you click and then you open it so it will give you that set template and then you re-edit it if you want it okay as you can see now this is a template that Cora draw has done now you can re-edit them okay when you click them check if it is uh, you will check the property bar okay we will come there but this is just to give you highlight you check when you click the template you check the group session 
that is where it will tell you on group okay so when you click on it then that group will be on group and you click outside and then you work with it okay so you can work with any of them okay so since we are not working off we are not talking about this much let's close this okay so we close the tag bar here then into us but we want to save it no i don't want it okay so we come back to file and then new again then we come to open this one with the folder as same as here okay when you click here meaning you have your work in your folder and then you open it so when you come to the main uh, projects you can do them as well through the file so that is it and then those are the keyboard shortcut control plus o and then new to control plus n and then you so when you check them you can see that they have shortcut key again i have done a video teaching on the shortcut keys of Corel draw or you can check see more about if you want to know shortcut keys towards uh, Corel draw okay so recent opening okay now open recent that also means the same place again <coughs> recent open recent okay so again let's come back then go so recent open things that you've done and we want to open some of them you go through that and then you close this place when you close this place you close here that means the uh, it means this portion this intro that uh, that bar here will be closed okay and when you come to all close you click that place it means all the bars that have been open here will be closed okay since i don't want to close them i will not click in this so bear in mind in case you don't understand them that is the meaning okay and then you come to save okay when you finish your work you save uh, uh, like continuously okay when you did maybe you do a little bit of your design or whatever you save save as means that you are about to save it as new and you give a new name okay and then you save that okay so that okay that's why i said save as what maybe you save as a uh, business card uh, flyer uh, brochure and so that is it and then save here also it's like when you update your design then you don't need to give this place again you just go straight to save and then to follow now save as templates if you want to create your things as templates then you to you click here and then your project become templates okay so when your project become templates you to you have a template and in this case when you have your template let's see you come back to welcome screen and then you click on my you click on new from template let's see when you come here you see my template so this is what i've done here and then this is my template so when you did when you do yours to you come there and you see your templates okay so we come there again okay so um template and then uh, this is not working because we are not working with that one the those ones that we are working with that's uh, those are the ones that should okay so acquire image that one is not much necessary okay uh, if you have something in the uh, document then you want to bring it to the page that you, to, you bring it so i have something like this and then click import and then you bring it so that is that is the import you see here okay and then export export for uh, is not is created because we are not working on it Okay, send to be on device or something you so you need to save the project and then you send it to your bluetooth device and document or any of them or you can 
is a bit as a funeral and stuff. So that is it. And then publish, publish, uh, pay to uh, concept, uh, concept share. You do that and then print, merge that one to the um, you click and that is what you experience. Okay, you print the whole thing. So it's, it's, a, it's a print learning wizard on its own that we, we will dive into it. It will be different altogether, but for now we cancel it. Okay, so uh, then, okay, so we finish with that. Then document properties, the last one, all those uh, gray ones like this gray ones that you see here which is uh, publish to pdf okay published to pdf that's what it means when maybe you develop you design something okay you finish your design let's say you finish your design and and you want to save it as pdf then you can see that it to come most of the gray uh, parts will come and then you see the publish to uh, pdf when you click you will save this project as pdf okay so now you can print you can print direct and preview you can preview it so what you've done it you can preview it preview means you see if everything is correct okay doing collection for output everything that is in the file here if you don't understand then we've explained the common ones now the common ones are the new template open recent close uh, close all and save save as uh, save as templates those are the common ones you, you need okay and then import and then export 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 it's like you just save the project as maybe jpeg like a picture or something to save your project as a picture or something that you save it on document or desktop or anywhere you want to put it then you save it so you can change the extensions here all of the extensions are here any type of extension that you can save your work to change it as adobe illustrator so every extension you want to you select and then you pick it there if it's maybe it sends here, it's not. You scroll this bar and then you see a lot. So you can go through it, and check all the one that you want to use. And then you, and you make sure that if you save extension, you make sure that you can open it with what you are looking for, or you can open it with another application. Okay, so this is it. And as you finish, and then you just spot it here and it will export then you can all those things are in file so in file everything here now when we are creating projects okay and most of the great parts will come but if it is new page and nothing is showing in rest for example i delete it and nothing has been made you will see that much of the uh, this thing will go gray okay so that is the uh, file side so we will end it here in the next video we will dive into uh, the edit and we'll be explaining more of uh, more of them okay so we are still in the uh, menu session remember we said we are uh, focusing on the menu uh, the status bar some that and uh, uh, properties bar uh, in two parts so we are taking it step by step. The reason why is that we want you to understand each and every uh, part of this menu. Okay, the menu, the main menu, and then the steps. Okay, so finish with the file side. So thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.